is going on guys welcome back to another video and we it's this one is from polygon we are talking about the sky's toast who has been banned from twitch after streaming death note anime god i don't even know why this is a thing but people keep streaming copyrighted content on twitch because they're stupid um that's the only conclusion i can come to and they don't understand what dmta is how copyright laws work, what transformative works are, and they keep flaunting it on Twitch, and people are getting banned from it. So let's get into it, shall we? Popular variety streamer Jeremy Disguised Toss <coughs> Wang has been banned from Twitch after watching the anime Death Note on stream. The ban came down on Monday night. While the reason for the ban is not officially confirmed, it's likely a result of a DM is a copyright strike handed down to Twitch by the rights holders of the anime. The band appears to be similar to the one issued to Pokemon on Friday night, who streams for offline TV. The same stream group as Wang received the DMCA complaint while streaming Avatar The Last Airbender was banned live on stream as well. However, Annie's punishment wasn't too harsh. The suspension on the channel only lasted 48 hours, according to a tweet. Before it was brought back online, Annie then went live with a 12 hour long stream on Monday morning, the day after she got her account back. An average around 27,000 viewers. Uh, I don't know why Twitch reinstated their account to shut off. Um, I'm actually not sure how Twitch is doing this. But it's basically meant to be three strikes and you're out. Um, yeah. And the content has to be removed. But if Twitch doesn't act appropriately to this, then they will start getting sued by these companies. That is for certain. That's why YouTube does the way the things they do with the content ID system and everything. Because they are trying to avoid getting sued, and it does not seem that Twitch is paying the same kind of attention. So that's around 6 more thousand more viewers than you normally averages. So while the situation certainly seems similar, it's still unclear if Wang's channel will be back up in the same time frame as Pokemon's. Wang himself has not offered an official comment on the ban. It's a tweet in, they really couldn't have waited 20 more minutes, huh? That's a really stupid attitude to have to that. Many Twitch streamers over the last few months have been watching and reacting to copyright content in what streamers call the TV meta. While this meta has garnered many streamers impressive viewing numbers for these DMCA strikes from, the original owners of the shows was always looming. And with the second ban, it appears more could be on the way if streamers continue to broadcast various copyrighted content. And yeah. Oh, he's gone for a month. He is gone for a month. Yeah. Well, that's not unexpected really to be honest pokemon should have been gone for a month it's actually kind of weird that there's a double standard where he gets banned for an entire month and pokemon only gets 48 hours which is frankly disgusting it should be the same for everyone and this is kind of what's going to happen dmca is going to continue going this way and people are going to keep getting banned and stuff and it does the thing that's what happened you can't stream copyrighted content that's just the end of it. Um, sorry, you can, but you can't do it the way these people are doing it, right? What they're doing is basically just sitting and watching and not contributing anything to it. Now, if I wanted, I could stream um, parts of Book of Boba Fett and stuff on Twitch and be fine, but I wouldn't be doing it in this format. I would be doing it in the format of a live discussion of parts of the show with supporting clips. I wouldn't be streaming a full episode because that's not transformative. That's not anything, right? If you're not giving an opinion and really changing it, it just doesn't work. There has to be more to it than sitting, watching, and just giving barely anything. It's not like living, it's not like sitting on your sofa with family and just like, chatting about little bits like you have to really pick out and make points and change the work right it's so hard to explain i guess it's easy to explain that you need to transform the work but it's very hard to explain what the threshold for it is right and i feel like that's something that streamers don't get they think it's just like youtube right they think it's like youtube where you'll have these shows right where they'll go through episodes and discuss stuff or they'll do watch alongs and things 
but they don't do it the way people are doing it on Twitch, which is wrong. Because people on Twitch are doing it completely wrong. They're not doing it in a transformative way. They're not doing it in a way that is actually legal, in my opinion. And obviously in Twitch's opinion and the copyright holder's opinion as well. Um, the one thing I don't like about Twitch either is the way you have to appeal copyright stuff. Uh, it's very frustrating and very annoying and very unintuitive. And you have to dox yourself in the process as well, which is not good because you can get false DMCA strikes from people who actually don't represent the organization. So really weird people could DMCA you. And then if you fight it, then you dox yourself on Twitch because Twitch requires you to give your address and stuff, which I don't know why they do that when on YouTube. All you have to do on YouTube is fill out your DC DMCA thing. Um, you basically put down all the reasons why you don't think it's, um, why you think it's fair use. And then you put your legal name at the bottom and that's all you have to put. You don't have to put your address or your country or anything like that. You just have to put your legal name. And then if anything comes of it, then you will get contacted through YouTube and, you know, find out decision that way. Uh, I don't know why Twitch honestly makes people put their addresses and postcodes in and stuff. That's really, really dodgy to me. And that is in the future going to lead to, to some bad situations where um, DMCA strikes get more popular on Twitch. And yeah, I can see these companies cracking down hard on this this year. I can see it's becoming more of a thing and we'll see more people get banned. Uh, so it looks like this guy's gone for an entire month. Pokemon only got 48 hours, which is inconsistent and I don't like it. I think Twitch needs to fix that. Let me know what you think down below about um Twitch only banning Pokemon for 48 hours. Whereas this guy's got an entire month. Bearing in mind, I am not saying that either one of them doesn't deserve a ban. They both deserve a ban. Um, That is obvious. Um. What I am saying is that the ban should be consistent, and that is not the case in this situation, and I don't like it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this stupid Twitch matter and just the blatant disregard for copyright, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.